MNS Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Grace and peace to you all again from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, right now, I want to talk to you about the keys that you can use to open up the lock to excellence, to quality life. Uh, my friend, who is the education director in Ward, has shared with me in written form. He entitled his sharing the 21 Passwords to Excellence. I like many things that he says. I think passwords is modern terms for those of you who are computer literate. You know what password means. Something, a device that enables you to get into the machine and the operations. Now, I want to follow his, the same vein that he uses. I'm not going to call them passwords, but I'll just connect with what I said before. Know the Savior in old time religion. Now, I'm going to focus on this presentation on know your identity. Who are you? Uh, let me read uh, where I'm getting what I'm unpacking here. Uh, Exodus chapter 19, let me read from verse 4, where God says, You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagles' wings and I brought you to myself. Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Underlined treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. Now, the apostle Peter echoes these words in chapter 2 of his letter to the church. Uh, you have Israel then, God addressing them through Moses. Now you have got the new Israel of God, the church. This is what Peter says. Chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation a people belonging to God that you may declare the presence of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Now, you are the people of God. God says you have seen yourself what I've done to make you my people. Let me digress and say, as I was emphasizing, God has got only one treasure in this world. One treasure, and that is people, human beings. People matter to God. God calls all the agencies to defend the people. God calls to invest in people, to protect people, to reward people, to promote people. God is about people. And he wants to use a people to make other people Stay connected with him so that his life may flow continually to us there. So that these people may reveal him. You know what? World cultures have a way of preparing their own people. All cultures 
You don't have a culture too bad. In my culture, the Matemas, first of all, we are Zimbabweans. In Zimbabwe, we have got communities, we have got people of different clans. I belong to the Matema clan. Let me begin with uh, Zimbabwe. In order to make Zimbabweans, there is a specific program of socialization so that we can become Zimbabweans. Now, before Zimbabwe came by the way, I was already alive and a big man, there was a Rhodesia. This Rhodesia was formerly a colony of Southern Rhodesia under the British. I was a person, a citizen of the British Empire. When I first went overseas, I asked for the British passport. I went to Botswana, they processed it for me in two hours and gave it to me. I flew out of Africa on a British passport because I was a citizen then of the British Empire. When Zimbabwe came, I was still overseas. I decided immediately, I am a Zimbabwean, put aside British passport, let me have a Zimbabwean passport. I wish I had kept that one, but now that's just being facetious. I am a Zimbabwean. I didn't bring my passport, but it's written there. The government of Zimbabwe has the obligation to protect this man, the bearer of this document. The British did the same. People matter, even in cultures. Now, as a Matema, the Matemas did many things to cultivate Matema spirit within me. My mother was taught how to treat a Matema. And when my mother is saying thank you, she would say, a Matema. She didn't stop there. She would say, a Matema. I would say, tegele. That is my language. So Yeah, I felt good when my mother said that. When other people say that, I feel like I am somebody who matters. That's the way of making a person. The message that comes shapes this person, shapes his or her identity. He grows up with a consciousness that he matters. The, the motivation, the thinking, the attitudes, the aspirations are shaped by these affirmations. The old time religion presented to us says God has stepped in in the life's terrain of humankind to reveal himself as one who created those human beings. And more than that, he reveals himself as the one who redeems them when the enemy has snatched them away from him. And it says in Exodus, he carries them on the wings out of slavery and degradation and flies with them away. What a picture of a God, what a God. Those who believe in him are his. He is by creation, he is by redemption. The redemptive act itself is dramatic. Read the narration again as I've read. It's about forming human beings, making people. We have this new identity in God. We are creating the image of God. Very high indeed, indeed de destiny. I mean identity. Very high mission. Very high purpose and destiny. When we believe, we acquire this identity. How else do we acquire it? When we accept him, Paul says we are crucified with Jesus Christ. 
When we repent and were baptized and the three names are declared on us, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have already been incorporated into a people who matter to God. So, if we respond positively, we become special people. Our identity is in God. Any human being can become a child of God by doing what I've just mentioned. So, know your identity. God is saying, this is your identity. I created you. This is your identity. I redeemed you. You are mine. We belong to God. We are God's people. And we are diversified. As people of God, Paul was excited. Let's read about uh, the constitution of God's people. I think it's in Galatians chapter 3. The constitution of God, the people of God. Paul writes here chapter 3, from verse 26, you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourself with Christ. Now he pronounces the constitution. Here it is. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and the heirs according to the promise. Hallelujah. Different people become people of God, become what we call today the church. Here is the constitution. Some people have called it the great charter in Latin, the Magna Carta. The great charter of new humanity is this one. It is inclusive, neither Jew nor female. It does not discriminate neither black or white. It does not discriminate neither poor or rich. You belong to these people, neither male or female, neither master or slave or servant. No national boundaries. They don't matter. No regionalism. No class distinctions. No educational boundaries. No tribe is inferior. No tribe is superior either. We are all one. The tribe of Abraham. When we accept Christ as our Savior. No positions. We are all equal in rank. The highest position that God considers is childhood of God. That's what matters. That is our identity. Now, dear friends, the Bible says we matter to Him, we're created in His own image. We are so dear to him more than the child is dear to the mother. Psalm 27, verse 10. We sacrifice his own son for us. He values us. Isaiah 43, verses 4 to 6. He says we've got a role in his palace. We've got rooms and homes there. John 14, verses 1 to, 3, to 4. He says we are God's fragrance, God's aroma. God is sweet smelling. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. He says we will be magistrates, we will be judges in heaven. Revelation 20. Daniel 7, verse 24, 26 and 27. God is marvelous. He makes a people. We are special. We matter to him. 
We are highly esteemed. We are loved by the greatest lover. We are unique. We are irreplaceable. This kind of consciousness, this identity, must make us fly to excellence. We must excel. We must be men and women who measure up by the grace of God. I want, you to I want to tell you disappointingly, if you do not accept God and measure up to this, you will be an embarrassment to God who paid so much to get you back to himself. I lived in a country who value themselves as a people, Americans specifically. I want to end up with this story real story of a family in America. The Kennedy family is very special. When you mention the M. Kennedy in America, M. America raises his eyebrows. What about him? What happened? It's a family that, is, that has done so much for America that is very rich. So there was a president, John F. Kennedy, who became so famous in a few years. His fame was so heavy that somebody decided, mm -mm, too popular, let us kill him. He was assassinated. And later on, another one tried to rise up like John F. Kennedy was also assassinated. Then later on, another one rose up. He was a senator when I was there. They didn't care. He tried to run for president twice when I was there. And you know what? Every time they mentioned the Kennedy's running for president, ah, Kennedy, Kennedy. But you know what? At the end, you see, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 that one, no, no, no. You know why? Kennedy embarrassed the Americans when he took a young woman out with a new car, and the following morning, the car was wrecked, the young woman was dead, and he was in shambles. The newsman came early at the bridge where the car was wrecked and said, Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy! We don't know what they did, we don't know what happened. But it was in the news. So whenever he ran for presidents, Americans would say, remember what he did in such, such a year. Took a woman, a car, woman died, car wrecked, he was in shambles. He can't be our president. No! And then you see the polls going down. Just illustrate the point. Someone can be special in the community, can be very important, but once you do embarrassing things, people throw you out. God also gets embarrassed when the people is created and saved. Embarrassing, do things that do not match their identity. So know your identity and live up to that identity. May God help us each one to know who we are and live accordingly. How many of you are saying, yes, I want to belong to God? Those things like Matema, Lovus, or Sibandas don't matter to God. What matters is that you are his child. And that is what makes him rejoice. You are his treasured possession. May God bless us to know this without forgetting. God bless you. Let us pray. Almighty God, loving Father, who are we to be so honored, to be so privileged? We can't thank you enough. We just praise you. Hallelujah. Take us into your hands and continue shaping us for eternity with you. Help us never to forget who we are, where we come from. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.